All right, welcome back gamers. This video, we're gonna go over the changes of the XP that Epic just released for Fortnite in the latest update. This video will be important to you if you don't like to do the imposter LTM, you're not interested in it. Also, if you're not interested in doing creative. So you just want to play the game, have fun, do battle royale style game, single, duo, triple or squad. So if that's your interest, do challenges and do those things. So this video is very important to you. Those changes are vital if you want to reach to level 200 in this season to make sure to claim all the skins available in the bonus rewards as well, not just the 100 levels for the battle pass. So what Epic did is Epic increased the daily XP for every one of the three daily quests. Epic also reduced the weekly by a little bit. So now they are 50, which is okay because the daily are now bumped, almost doubled. And also for all the new characters, the total possible gain of the XPs is now 150 rather than 80 in comparison to what happened before for all 16 previous character quests. So let's crunch some numbers. If you want to reach to level 100, you need 7,780,000 XPs. If your goal is to reach to level 200, which means you get all the bonus rewards, you need about 14 million XP. So if you do the weekly, the daily, from now till the end of the season, which is early in December, if you do the weekly, the daily, the bunch cards, the new and the old, you will be landed at around 8,690,000, which means you cover the first 100. But you still need to grind to do about 5,261,000 to get to the level 200. But there is hope, I think. So the hope here is Epic just introduced two new characters and we already had 16. So I'm guessing there will be more characters and maybe up to 16 additional characters. In addition, remember that we're getting into the Halloween season and the Thanksgiving and usually Fortnite and Epic release specific challenges, specific quests related to those events that also tied with XP's. In addition, all those quests, even after finishing the bunch card, can give you XP's, even though they look very minimal, but they are helpful. So I think I'm hoping that Epic will introduce new bunch cards, new characters, and give us special events that we can play and we can get XP's so we can reach level 200. So far, it seems challenging in this season. Previous season, it was very easy. If in the future I received any update, I will make a video or add it to the comments below. But until then, enjoy playing Fortnite, have fun. I'm very excited about this season. It's very cool so far. I'm really happy with the mini games. Maybe some people disagree with that, but I love those mini games. So have fun playing games and thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have recommendations, please let me know in the comment section below. And have a wonderful day gaming.